It is Sunday night. And you know what that means. It's the Sunday Night League and we are here with GTE season number 8 and we're at Lego Majari for what is a very celebratory weekend. It is, dear listener, dear viewer, three years since SNL was created and it all began here at this little circuit in Italy. We're back, but this time we're in the GTE cars. Unlike that first day where we had the Porsche Cup and Formula X in that Red Bull extreme car. It's a bit of a celebration, but a brand new season of GTE. Probably the most difficult championship to win here at SNL. We have got four returning champions. We have got six drivers who have won races in GTE. We've got multiple podium finishers. It's going to be epic. We're currently looking at a Lowy driver who actually hasn't finished on the podium in GTE. His best result is fourth, but he is in the Weeb Motorsports team. He is in with a returning Silent Wolf. So Silent Wolf just on the side. You'll remember him from season one. He also returned in season number four, which was about 18 months ago, race winner. He was also in season three in a Mercedes. He's back in a Mercedes. He's driving for Chris Boo's Weeb Motorsport team. He is the number 41. They are joined by number 42 and ever present has missed one race, all GTE championships. It's Rob on drums, also in that Mercedes. And their teammate is a Lowy. Great season last season in GT, driving for Pat's team. Pat is not longer as a team boss this season. He's had a little break from everything. So a Lowy, top of the charts at the moment in practice. We have got Joker Racing Club, which is led by Matt Psycho, two-time champion in that McLaren. Golf livery. Looking very nice with a bit of chrome, I think, as well. He is joined by a returning Digital Blasphemy, also in the Gulf Red livery. And their teammate is Slenderfella, who I believe has just fallen off. No, Slenderfella is in the pits. So Slenderfella in the pits right now. There is Victory Rain then. Moving on to Renault Green Flag Racing. Their team boss is Pool Shark. So Pool Shark, sorry, not Pool Shark, is the Punisher. Victory Rain, a little bit of lag happening for him. We might have to just live with it tonight. Victory Rain, former champion in GTE, season number four, driving a McLaren. He's driving the Renault for the Punisher. He is joined in that team as well by Specmere. Specmere not currently on track, race winner in the Ford GT. And they are joined by Paul Shark in that. Renault, so Paul Shark there in sixth place right now. In the Shell Honda, oh, Shell Honda racing team, we have got, this is my team, so I'll be unbiased, we've got Bailey in the blue version of the car, we've also got Bunnies who's just left the session, I don't know what's happening with people at the moment, we will delay qualifying a little bit, we are waiting on a couple of people. Okay, so Bailey there in the Honda. We also have got in that car the defending champion, a two time champion now with Speed Hunter. Bunnies is back in. So Speed Hunter is back in that car. Defending his championship. We won it last season in the Lexus. A brilliant drive actually at Spa dominated the race nobody could talk to him like that then we have bunnies as well driving that honda and finally we have got the pennzoil corvette racing team Let's see who is on circuit in that car yes there we go we've got ajax or ajax as the canadians call him ajax the brother of bunnies makes his gt debut 
and he is in the Corvette. He is driving alongside Gasman, who I can see is there, also in the Pennzoil, and they are joined by Season 3 champion Illusion, who I'll just check. We've got everybody that we're expecting. No, we haven't. So do we have Illusion here? I'll just send a message, be fair and see where he is. So he did say he would be five minutes late about six minutes ago, so we'll just wait for Illusion. So qualifying will be at 2010. It did say he would be late. This is the thing. I'm host. I'm also commentating. There we go. So confirming qualifying so they've got look, 10 minutes of practice to get their handle on these cars brand new cars for this season all different cars as well for each team and the rule has not changed with the tyres the tyres are still the same in terms of they have to pick two sets of tyres for the race Chris Poole in the chat saying, go, go, we've motorsports. He will be cheering them on. He is the team boss of that team. So, tyres are soft, medium and hard. This weekend, Joker Racing Club have gone for the soft and the hards. We've motorsports in their Mercedes have gone for the mediums, double mediums for them. Shell Honda Racing have gone soft and hard. Renault Green Flag Racing have gone double medium, so a couple of strategies there. And also a third one, Pennzoil Corvette have gone medium and hards. So they're allowed to use those tyres in qualifying. They do not have to use the same qualifying tyres as they start the race. If you've seen previous seasons of GT, that used to be the rule. A moment though, fastest on the circuit, Matt Psycho, 157.9 in his McLaren. He has got soft tyres available to him. Bailey at the moment, fastest on circuit as it stands right now. He's got Nigel Mansell helmet. Let's go around and just have a look at the circuit. So we've got Victory Rain running wide out of turn 13. That long left hander that never seems to end. The green colour of green flag racing, a little bit of lag there with Victory Rain, that's going to be difficult with battles, although they're in third right now, oh speed, Silent Wolf is off the second gate Gasman puts himself up into third in the Corvette and Aloe fifth Silent Wolf, we've seen before Silent Wolf likes to slide the car he's sliding the car quite a lot right now and the Weeb Motorsports team. They've got anime girl on the side. I don't know who that character is, Chris Boo. I don't really know anime, I must admit. So, there we are. Victory Rain looking a little bit spiky with his lag. So it's going to be tricky for him. The soft tyres, you can see. Five laps in with Bailey. They're looking a little bit worn out. This is going to be a 38, uh, 34 lap race. And whilst we're waiting for Illusion, I'll go through the calendar. So we've got Lego Majari, Majari today. Then next week we've got Road Atlanta. That was picked by our champion from last season, Speed Hunter. He picked Road Atlanta. Third round is at St. Croix A. First time there. Tokyo South Circuit has been picked by Cool Dude Boy, the team boss from last season. So he has picked that. Round number five, we return to the Nordschleife. It's the 24 hour layout as well, so it's a long time since we've had the Nordschleife. Here in SNL, we return with the GTE cars, which I do remember an epic battle for the season three championship going down to the wire there. And the final round is into Lagos. It did just the plus ones left the room. Okay, so hopefully he will come back. Just having a few technical issues right now with the game. You know, it's drilled though. It's 
is GT7. Just being GT7, really. Let's have a look, though, at Gasman. Find, actually, here is Slenderfella. So Slenderfella, number 21 in that McLaren. So Jim Joker and pick the drivers. Black Psycho has taken over as a team boss now. So that McLaren in golf livery. Electro livery inspired by famous McLaren F1. Ran in golf colours as well. We've got the Aloe and the Weeb Motorsports. Mercedes Benz, Chris Boo's car. Very pink and black. Very colourful grid you'll notice this season here in GTE. We've got Gasman in the yellow, black, and red. Slightly red. Corvette and Pennzoil. The Corvette looking a bit aggressive actually at the front with that paintwork. We've got Rob on drums in that we've both sport Mercedes. We've seen Bailey quite a lot in that Honda. And finally, in the green flag racing Renault, we have got Victory Rain. Oh, I don't know who that is. Let's get rid of them. Because I don't know who you are, Tiddies. I don't know who he was. He's blocking it for victory uh, for illusion to come in. But illusion's running out of time. We did say We did say four minutes until qualifying, so qualifying at ten past eight. Thank you everybody that's viewing us right now. Who do you have for the race? Who do you have for the championship as well? It's a very close run thing. As I say, we've got four previous champions on the grid. As he's in the chat saying quality grid. Trying to get everything working, does it? It's a shame you couldn't join us for the full season, does We miss you. We always miss you when you're not here. Everything is working now. Let's have a look, see who we haven't seen. Here is... No, he's not on track, actually. There he is. Speed Hunter is on track. There is the current champion. Trying to become a three-time champion. He'll be the first to do so. And he'd be the first back-to-back -to -back to champion since Matt Saito in Season 1 and Season 2. Those of you with long memories will remember Matt Saito won every race that season. Okay, so qualifying will be in two minutes. And Illusion gets here just in time. So we've got a full grid for qualifying. Qualifying is 10 minutes long. Drivers are not allowed to overtake during that session to stop impeding happening and anybody being on a fast lap. So Bailey looking relatively fast actually. He's close to victory rain. That's like currently the fastest on circuit that we've seen at 157.9 for him. So I'll ask everybody if they are ready for qualifying. And we will get underway for round number one of season eight of GTE. Thank you everyone that's here and watching us live on a Sunday night. It's great to be live again. We get the clock as well on the side. We get the timing gaps. Oh, there's a Honda spun out of the final corner. We will have a look, closer look at this amazing circuit on the qualifying outlaps. So here we go then. Good luck to the drivers. Let's start qualifying. Just make sure everyone is entered into the race. Done that before. Yes. Qualifying.
qualifying starts in about eight seconds. 34 laps here in Lego Majari. And it's such a beautiful part of the world. Let's see how qualifying goes. 10 minutes here. I'll repeat the qualifying. They can go on any tire that they've picked. And we've got mediums all round for Weeb Motorsport and Green Flag Renault. It's soft and hard for both Shell Honda Racing and Joker Racing Club in their McLaren. And finally, mediums and hards for Penn's Oil as well. We're going to go, I think, on board with bunnies. Although we've got a car in front, actually. Is that Matt Psycho? taken a leap he has my Matt Psycho goes out first then so he's coming out of turn four slight uphill crest into two left sound like a rally co-driver he's going through the left down the hill down the right slight lift on Matt Psycho's car in the McLaren and then the best overtaking opportunity possibly turn seven the hairpin it's banked you can go very fast in there you will not lose too much time but be careful of the gravel on the outside then we go up the hill turn 8 9 10 11 and 12 my favorite section of this circuit is coming up now it's very fast flowing you have to attack it and be very careful of the curb and the wall on the exit of the sequence we're going through the right hander there is the wall and the pit complex for one of the shorter layout down the hill then always a tricky corner turn 13 it's Apex, it's late there for Matt Psycho and out down to the back straight. This is the back straight of the circuit towards the end, turn 14, 15, very tight. Close to being a chicane, but not quite. A little straight here, bend into the right hand corner, and we set up to the penultimate corner, which is a hairpin, a very slow hairpin, and it's a tight entry by Matt Psycho down into first gear into second up into the final corner pat is in the chat saying he's got double screen live action snl and moto gp well hopefully we'll have a moto gp type of race for us today so soft tires on the first two cars you see mediums then for victory rain and silent wolf is on mediums too speed hunter soft illusion is on mediums aloe is on his mediums, Ajax is in the pit, he's changing tyres, so he's decided to run a strategy where he's running on the tyres, he's going to start the race possibly on Digital Pascal, getting a slide, that's not going to start his lap at the best way, Paul Sharp coming out of the final corner in his green flag, Renault and Slenderfell, last on the road, what can he do in that McLaren? back to the front we just see bunnies has had a little bit of curve and a bit of the gravel going out 56 001 from that psycho bunnies did not trigger it no we don't see it either and speed hunter moving very slowly on the inside i wonder if he's had a slight issue going into the hairpin he is off the power very much so making sure he does not get in the way of the hot laps of other drivers there's very close action happening though i think between illusion and speed hunter so illusion is there in sixth place they're not as close as they look like they were on the map that's how go running it out wide thank you everyone that's watching us live here at snl like share subscribe we are live here every sunday for season number eight of gte and we are going to see who can get pole position for this first round and it's matt psycho a 58 one that is quick compared to what he was doing in practice bunnies is seven tenths off victory rain half a second off on his mediums very fast from the renault driver a second off by silent wolf we're seeing drivers get through now. Illusion is in that second bubble as well. Aloe crosses the line sixth. Speed Hunter, he's out of position. Gasman puts himself up into sixth place. 
Ajax with his first full qualifying in SNL. He has done qualifying sessions before in SNL, but it was in GT in Formula X, which is single lap qualifying. Rob Van Drums puts himself up into 10th. Slender fellow, where can he put his McLaren? It looks a quick time. He's up in 6th. It's a very closely packed grid then, because Matt Psycho, he's going quicker still. What about Victory Rain? Does he cross the timing beam? He's quicker than he has been before. He's looking very fast on those mediums. Bunny's in third in the Honda. With Silent Wolf just behind him, the returning Silent Wolf in the Mercedes. Some very fast times. Bailey up in fifth place in his Honda. The Slender fell a sixth. That Psycho though coming towards the exit of turn 13. He's seven tenths of a second up on his best time. He's going deep into the 157s. This will be a stonking lap. Let's go on board with the McLaren through the final corners. You can see this very tight entry. Matt Psycho keeps, keeps hugging the curb into that turn at 16, out of turn 17. This will be pole position as it stands, but how far ahead will it be to his rivals? He's eight tenths better than he has been before. What does victory reign? Bunnies improves his time as well. Bunnies is within a tenth nearly of Matt Psycho. We've not seen Bunnies have a very good season in GTTE for a while. So we'll see what he can do this evening. Mama Sykes is in the chat saying, evening everyone, go Matt, evening bunnies. It's not bunnies, Mama Sykes. It's not bunnies. Bunnies is driving. Bailey is in fourth place in that Honda. That Honda's looking very fast. Gasman in fifth. With Silent Wolf sixth. He is better than he has been before. Let's have a look. There is Digital Blasphemy up into 8th place. Illusion is in ninth. Slenderfella has moved himself up the grid into 6th place. Mother Sykes apologising. And she sent me three kisses. Oh. Privileged. Absolutely privileged. This is Jam will be very, very jealous. Fill the house with my There is Ajax. Ajax. It's going to be really hard, Ajax, to say Ajax, because the natural European thing is to say Ajax. So, I will try. Spectre in 11th place at the moment in his Renault. First time we've seen the Renault actually in GTE as well. It's first choice for them. Speed Hunter down in 12th place for the current champion. It's going to be a hard season. You're going to do well if you are qualifying inside the top 10 in these cars and racing inside the top 10. Matt Psycho then finishing his lap. Bunnies has improved his time. Uh, sorry, has gone into the pits to get new tyres. Matt Psycho is there. He is still in first place. What can Victory Rain do? Can he improve his time? Not quite. Bailey is in the pits. I think Bailey has said, you know what? I'm not going to get any better than fourth on the grid right now. Silent Wolf puts himself up into fifth ahead of Gasman. Just seeing the end of Gasman's lap. The first time in GTE history Gasman has not been a team boss. Wow. Oh my word! <laughs> Speed Hunter's just blown the doors off everyone. Wow, a 156.7 in the Honda. Bailey in the chat saying, yes, yes, I did. He's confirming that he's decided he's hit the fastest he will go. Speed Hunter, half a second up on Matt Psycho. Matt Psycho, all of a sudden, there's three Hondas in the top five. The team boss of that team will be very happy to see all those cars over there. Silent Wolf then in sixth place. What can he do in that? Mercedes is four tenths down, so let's not follow him. He's on a slower lap. Gasman looks like he's pulling to the side as well. Where is Illusion? There is Illusion. What is he doing currently in his Corvette? We're in the final 30 seconds of qualifying. 
Corvette on medium tyres though, so don't expect anything too fast from the medium runners, really, in qualifying. He and Ajax are in very close proximity of each other. I've not seen any split times though. Matt Psycho crossing the line does not improve. He's half a second down. He has made it to one final lap. Everybody else, this is it. This is your final lap. So Speed Hunter it took a while for him to say his final lap there for Speed Hunter. What can he do? Can he improve his time? We've not seen any of the split times as he comes through the final couple of corners. The current champion, currently on pole, Oh, Aloe puts himself higher by setting a new fastest time for himself. We'll see where that puts him as we watch Speed Hunter cross the line. No, does not improve. Bunnies is on a lap. Fritzy Rain is not. Specmere has improved his time. Can he get himself? Where is Specmere? Specmere down in 13th place at this point in time. Pool Shark is in 14th. And 15th place is Rob on drums. He will not improve his time. No, not quite. So, let's see. Who is finishing their laps? So, Illusion down in 11th place for the Season 3 champion. Anybody else towards the end of their lap? It looks like Bunnies is the only driver on a fast lap now. So we'll watch Bunnies to the end, but he is not going to improve. So it is going to be pole position for Speed Hunter here in round number one of GTE season number eight. He is six tenths of a second quicker than Matt Psycho in the McLaren. Third place is Bunnies in the Honda. He's finishing his lap off now. We'll see him going through the final corner. The Canadian up in third place. Slides the, oh, slides the car out the final corner and to the line. There he goes. Second down on his best, but there we go. Fourth place is Victory Rain in the Renault. Top medium runner in qualifying. Fifth place is Bailey. He decided to duck out of qualifying for quite a while. He'll be happy with that. And three Hondas in the top five. Silent Wolf is sixth in his Mercedes. His full-time return in SNL. We did see him in Fuji for that abandoned race that never was. Slenderfella is in seventh. Bailey in the chat. Well done, everyone. Good luck, he says. Slenderfella in seventh in his McLaren. Eighth is Gasman. Top Corvette for Gasman. There he is in eighth. Ninth place is Aloe. We saw lots of quick races from him last season. Digital Blasphemy makes the top 10. Only just look at the gap between him, Aloe, and Illusion. Wow. That's going to be tight. So Digital Blasphemy is in 10th in the McLaren. 11th place for Illusion. 12th, his teammate, Ajax. And we'll go through the full grid just so we can see all the gaps and the times. So there we have the top eight with Speed Hunter, the current champion on pole position in the Honda. Second, Matt Psycho in the McLaren. He is six tenths of a second behind. It's very close, in fact, between Matt Psycho and Bunnies. In the second Honda on the grid, Victory Rain was 1.3 seconds down, but on medium tyres in the Renault. Fifth place was Bailey. Nearly two seconds off his champion teammate. Sixth place was Silent Wolf in the Mercedes. Seventh place was Slenderfella in the McLaren. Eighth place was Gasman on the mediums. So was Silent Wolf on those mediums. Aloe on mediums in his Mercedes in ninth. Tenth place was Digital Blasphemy in the McLaren. Illusion, eleventh with his mediums in the Corvette. Twelfth for Ajax, also on mediums. Specmere on mediums in the Renault. And so is Pool Shark in 14th place. Rob on drums, not having the best of the qualifying sessions for himself, in 15th place. The first ever champion in SNL history with that Porsche Cup in season number one. Right. We have got 34 laps of this fantastic circuit. We have got 
a former champion on pole, a former champion in second, a podium finisher in GTE and the current Formula X champion in third, a former champion victory reign in fourth. And then we have Bailey, who has a best finish of 11th in GTE. So it's all to play for in this race. I'll check if everyone is ready. And then we'll have 34 laps of this fantastic circuit in Italy. Put in the chat who you think is going to win. Who's your money on? Remember, the tyre situation. Joker Racing Club are on soft and hards, as are Shell Honda Racing. Mediums only for Weeb Motorsport and Green Flag Racing. And mediums and hards for Pennzoil Corvette. Let's get this race started then. 34 laps here in Italy. Back to where it all began for SNL. It's Sunday night. You know what that means. It's the Sunday Night League with GTE Season Number 8, Round Number 1. And everybody is looking forward to this. Speed Hunter on pole, Matt Psycho second, Bunny's third, Victory Rain fourth, Bailey fifth, Silent Wolf returning in sixth, seventh is Slenderfella, and eighth is Gasman. The revs start, the lights flash on. We have five of them ablaze, and it is go here in Italy. Matt Psycho seemed to get a good start, but then we see the Renault of Victory Rain seems to be at the back, but the two Hondas have jumped. Matt Psycho in third. Fourth is Victory Rain. There's a few... Oh, there's a McLaren hitting another McLaren. It looked like Bailey. Oh, and there's some action at the back. What has happened there? Paul Shark has slid off. Specknir as well. And Slenderfella and Digital Blasphemy look like they had a co coming together in turn one, too. So... They have got Matt Psycho is in second. Bunnies down in fourth place. Bunnies has had a bit of action as well, possibly a slide. Uh, Digital Blasphemy is asking for a red flag. It has not been given. So Digital Blasphemy asking for a red flag. Matt Psycho in second place, chasing his rival from the previous seasons, Speed Hunter on board with Matt Psycho in this McLaren through the S's chasing the Honda both are on soft tyres oh Speed Hunter having a big slide though having to catch it he is going to be under pressure then into turn 13 because Matt Psycho pushing hard victory rate all over the kerb as well nearly scraping the wall it's a very very difficult place to be racing victory rain is in third with bunnies in fourth Silent Wolf fifth, sixth is Gasman, he's had a good start. Bailey in seventh, Ajax in eighth, he's had a good start as well. He's on the hard tyres. The best start of the race though, going up the inside, is going to be Rob on drums, up into eighth place for the American. What a start for him, he started in 15th. He's now in eighth, using those medium tyres. Fantastic from him. Then we see Illusion having a fight with Maloey. Can he go up the inside? No, he can't through turn 17. But at the front, it is Speed Hunter leading the way in the Honda. With Matt Psycho right behind him, just a second, covers the top two. And Victory Rain is there in contact. You can see the top two very close in front of him in that green flag. Racing Renault, the Punisher, watching his first time as a team boss as well. Bunnies in fourth place. Silent Wolf on the medium tyres. We'll see how the tactics work with these tyres. Obviously, fastest in the first sector. We haven't had a standing start for Silent Wolf. As we go down the hill, we can see sparks kicking up from the Renault of Victory Rain ahead. It's great that we've got... Oh, no! Silent Wolf runs wide. Does he lose time? He loses not very much, actually. He lost about three tenths of a second there, but nothing too drastic. Let's look behind. Bailey in sixth place. He's got Gasman behind him. A big gap, actually, then to Rob on drums, who's had that amazing start in eighth place. 
driving well. Ajax in ninth with a low in looking up the inside. This is very tight between these three. Ajax is still in ninth. Can Illusion get himself into? Oh, Ajax has run wide into the wall. I thought Illusion might have a chance of getting the both of them. He's looking up the inside, keeping it tight in turn 13. Not a fan of this circuit, I've heard. Spackmere in 11th. Ajax in 12th. Pulchak in 13th. Slenderfella 14th. And at the back, unfortunately, is Digital Blasphemy. Something happened into turn 1 between those two McLarens. They both were off going into that corner. And Speedhunter is going to lead lap number two. He sets what was the fastest lap, but Max Heiko a couple of tenths quicker. So the McLaren driver, he runs a little bit wider actually. You'll see that, we'll compare it through the race. Runs a little bit wider, has a good drive actually coming out of the second corner. Through turn three and four, Max Psycho is all over the back of Speed Hunter. Speed Hunter will be feeling the pressure on his rear, both on soft tyres, these two drivers. Looking at a possible victory once more in GTE. But Speed Hunter also a very, very fast driver. Mama Sykes in the chat saying, foot down, Matt. Foot down indeed. He is going for it here at Lego Majari. Bullies is there in fourth place, keeping in contact with the top group. Four seconds off the lead. Behind him, just a second behind on those medium tyres is Silent Wolf. These Silent, Silent Wolves, these medium runners will come back into the race, I am sure. Sixth place is Bailey. So he's using all the tricks in the book to keep that car pointing forward. Gasman in seventh place on the medium tyres in his Corvette, top Corvette in the race at the moment. Then we have Rob on drums, his medium tyres as well. He's ahead of Aloe. Rob on drums qualified in 15th. He's up to eight at the end of the first lap. Illusion is on hards. So he's trying to get rid of those as soon as he can. He's got the medium shot spec near behind him. With Paul Shark in second place, keeping with the pace. Paul Shark has said this league is very hard at the front, and he's very happy to be in the race. Slenderfella, after that first lap, he's getting past. There he goes. He goes past Paul Shark. In the background, we can see a race happening. Paul Shark and Titches of Blasphemy and Ajax. Ajax on the hard, Digital Blasphemy on the soft. So Digital Blasphemy gets ahead of Ajax. Oh no, Digital Blasphemy goes off the circuit. Just as I said that, he got ahead. He's now back down in 15th place. Speed Hunter there in first. In the McLaren, in the Honda, being chased by the McLaren of Matt Psycho. Set the fastest lap of a 157.4 previously. Pulled out couple of attempts here and there but it's not much between these top two and remember they're on softs victory rain is on mediums and look how much better oh, they're not too much better but they will be fresher for victory rain let's have a look at bunnies he's in fourth in that honda Honda proving to be a tricky car to control. It is quite skittish. And it definitely looks fast in the hands of Speed Hunter. Oh, Gasman getting past Bailey. So, Bailey down to seventh place. And Nigel Mansell helmet. And if he was inspired by the Union flag on his car, it could remind me of Mansell. Rob on drums though, in 8th, he's keeping pace with Bailey, actually ahead. So, they're all keeping together. This race will settle down, then the pit stops will start. Specmere is up to 10th place. 
So Specmere is pushing on, trying to get himself further up this grid. This will be his fastest. It is seven tenths quicker than he has gone before. So Specmere moving up the field in the Renault. To say this is the first time we see the Renault in GTE. Often seen as an un a tricky car to drive. It's the same with the Honda actually. We've never seen the Honda in GTE as a group three car. Illusion and Slenderfella. Here we go. On board with Slenderfella in the McLaren. We can see Illusion. He's on hard tyres in the Corvette. We are on softs in the McLaren. You can see Illusion is having to break on the exit at turn five to keep the car from understeering off. It's looking like that Corvette is proving to be quite difficult. Just behind Slenderfella is Paul Shark. Said Paul Shark was in for a good race. He definitely is. He's in contact with the season three champion. Just have a look, just a little bit ahead. We can see. Oh, there's somebody spun! Gasman is pointing the wrong way. Gasman has spun on the exit of turn 13. The Corvette driver recovers it and gets himself back, pointing the right way. But all that hard work from 7th down to 13th that shows how close the gaps are in GTE. Speed Hunter. Just at this moment in time, has he broken Matt Psycho? 2.3 seconds is the gap between Matt Psycho and Speed Hunter. A 158.7 compared to a 157.4. Speed Hunter, a look at Speed Hunter's left rear tyre. That looks very warm. Matt Psycho's nowhere near as bad. So despite the speed, Speed Hunter is definitely in trouble I think with the tyres. Aloe moving up into 7th place into turn 1 I believe against his teammate Rob on drums. Although Aloe's run wide, will that give Rob on drums a run out of turn 4 and will it give Specmere a chance? We're on board with the Brits. He's got the American just on his right hand side. There we go down the hill chasing down the two Mercedes in front. Spectre. Looks like there's rain on the car. There isn't. Spectre still has his Lotus overalls on the front from the Rex as well. So back to this battle illusion. He's got the attention of Paul Shark. Paul Shark has gone on board with him through the S's, the wiggly section, as some people call it, left, right, left, right, at the top of the hill, down toward turn 13, that turn 12 wall can catch you out so badly as we go off board, we're going to see Paul Sharp make the move, I'm sure he's got a better drive, out of the corner has he, not quite, There is a lot of action happening. Speed Hunter, though, he's 1.2 seconds a lap quicker than Matt Psycho. Oh, he's crashed, though! Speed Hunter's crashed! Oh, no! Speed Hunter's crashed! As I said, how quick he was going. Matt Psycho up into first place. Victory Rain in second. What is that rear tyre? Those rear tyres are absolutely cooked on that Honda. Oh, my word. Bunnies is down in fifth place as well. The Honda drivers, their rear tyres, not looking too happy. In fact, Bailey has the better tyres of all the Hondas. Silent Wolf is up into fourth place. He's got Speed Hunter. Oh, Speed Hunter's gone off again! Oh, it's disaster for Speed Hunter. He's gone so far off. Bunnies, I believe, has gone off as well. Bunnies on the outside of the corner has gone as well. He's down in 13th place. 
and from a very, very strong position, a lap ago, it's all gone wrong for Honda. Here in Italy, Matt Psycho leads by four seconds from Victory Rain. Third place is Silent Wolf. Those soft tyres, Bailey, top Honda runner. As Speed Hunter is just dropping. He's down to seventh place. Specmere is already up into sixth. Can he get past? And Lowy. And Lowy now is in fifth place. We look behind as well. And we can see Slenderfella going up the inside of Rob on drums. So the McLaren driver up into eighth. He's got the Honda ahead. But it's up ahead as well. We've got Specmere having a look at Aloe. The racing here has suddenly heated up on lap number seven. In round number one, Bailey up to fourth place after his first stint. It's Matt Psycho leading the race, 158.9. Victory Reign in second of 159.8. So Matt Psycho running about a second quicker. Mama Sykes in the chat saying, what are they on? Well, they were on soft tyres. They burnt through them. The Honda drivers, Aloe is in fourth. Specmere in fifth, just behind him. Slenderfella is sixth. Rob on drums up to seventh. Pull Shark up to eighth. Gasman ninth, putting the pressure on, on the Renault. What does the Scott do? He's coming through turns four, uh, five and six down towards turn seven not close enough Ajax is there in 10th Bailey after his pit stop has come out in 11th 12th is Speed Hunter and Illusion has also done a stop so Illusion has put the medium tyres on he's decided to use this opportunity Digital Blasphemy in 14th place and Bunnies well Bunnies what happened to Bunnies Bunnies have completely vanished Tires completely burnt out, down in 15th place. Matt Psycho there in first. The McLaren looking very, very happy with its rubber. Does he go another lap? He does. Victory Rain then in second. He's keeping going. The Silent Wolf in third. His front tires though. Not looking too happy in the Mercedes. Compared to his teammate, Aloe. Aloe is a tyre whisperer. He has not eaten them anywhere near as much as Silent Wolf has. We know Silent Wolf from the past. He likes to slide the car a lot. Is he doing that here? Specmere in fifth place. He's just having one of those races. Aloe's run wide out of turn number two. Sorry, turn one. He's going through turn two. He's under pressure now from Specmere. Through three into four. Aloe is running very wide at the moment. He is under a lot of pressure from Specmere. Specmere speculatively looking through the fast left and right. He's going to keep the pressure on. On Aloe. Oh, Specmere's made a mistake though, has he? I don't know. He looks like he might be under pressure from Slenderfella. Slenderfella is having a great recovery. He was all the way down the field. He's now up to sixth in his McLaren. Slenderfella is there, sixth place, lifting off. You can hear in the McLaren. We're on board. The Joker Club. All smiles right now with Matt Psycho leading. Oh, 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 what a save! What a save from Slenderfella. How he kept that out of the wall, I do not know. Wow. These cars, though, are proving tricky when they get warm tyres. Matt Psycho is in the pits. Oh, victory rain. I think that may have been a bit of lag, possibly. Victory rain takes the lead. He's our third leader of this race. That's Psycho in the pits. There's the McLaren. 
fresh tyres, brand new set of softs for the McLaren driver. Driver, does he come out ahead of a lowy? No, he does not. Speckmere into the pits on his medium. A lowy is there in third. Slender fella, will he jump his teammate Matt Psycho? Yes, he does. Rob on drums jumps Matt Psycho. Gasman jumps Matt Psycho. Matt Psycho comes out in seventh place then. So pit stops about 35 seconds, it would appear. Matt Psycho back on the soft tyres. Full shark on the mediums. Ajax on the hards in ninth. Bailey in tenth. Still ahead of Speed Hunter. After that absolute disaster of a lap for the Honda team, Illusion comes out ahead of Specmere in all the shuffle. So Illusion has had a good undercut. So the undercut looks strong here at Lego. Digital Blasphemy, his tyres are finished. He will be pitting at the end of this lap. And Bunnies, he's a minute behind Digital Blasphemy. Something must have happened to Bunnies. He's nearly getting lapped by Victory Rain. So Victory Rain leading for the Punisher. Second place, Chris Booz, Simon Wolf in the Weave Motorsports Mercedes. I might call her Bertha, the lady on the side of the car. Let's get confirmation of who she is. Simon Wolf is there. Then he will definitely stop at the end of this lap, but Victory Rain is going another lap. Is Victory Rain trying to make it so that he's doing 12 lap stints? Oh my word, Silent Wolf is going another lap. Well, we just saw what happened to Speed Hunter before his pit stop, where he took the tyres one lap too far. Has Silent Wolf done the same? Those front tyres are absolutely shot, and Lowy's tyres aren't looking fine. He's absolutely happy with his. That Psycho moving up to fourth place now after his pit stop, as we see that Slenderfella is in the pit, as is Gasman. Rob on drums doing his now trademark thing of taking tyres a long way, moving up the field through pit stops, through strategy. He is looking strong. Bailey in sixth place in that Honda. Just setting consistent times. Quite happy there in sixth as well. We've got Speed Hunter in seventh place after his antics. He's set the fastest lap of 157.3. So he's flying along. Illusion there in 8th place. Quiet race for Illusion, but he's in the 59.4s, which are good. And he's ahead of Specmere, who we saw. Specmere was in 5th place before all the pit stops started shuffling. So it's not finished yet. Gatsman there in 10th. We're on lap 11 of 34. Everybody, who do you have as your winner of this race so far? Slenderfella is there in 11th place. The pool chart 12th. Ajax in 13th. Digital Blasphemy coming out of the pits now in 14th place. And Bunnies is there. He's on the hard tyres. So Bunnies actually has gone onto the hards. So he's running a different strategy to those around him. As Victory Rain, Victory Rain is trying to do the tank of fuel on his tyres. So he is there while Silent Wolf, oh my word, how he's made that round. It's 12.6 seconds down though on Victory Rain. A lowy has got plenty of life left in the tyres, but he has to stop because of his fuel. Matt Psycho, he is 26 seconds behind Victory Rain setting personal bests at 57 what was it 57.857 so six tenths of a second slower than speed hunter but we saw what happened to speed hunter rob on drums currently in third place the american in third in his mercedes after all the shuffle bailey will be in third place he is being chased down by Speed Hunter, who has just set a 56.9. Speed Hunter is on qualifying laps. 
He's made mistakes in this race and he's just saying, right, I'm going for it. I am just going to set qualifying laps, lap after lap. There is nothing else anybody can do about it. Silent Wolf there then in sixth place. He's come out. Look at this. Illusion is there in seventh place with Silent Wolf. Former winners, former teammates in the Mercedes in season number three. In that amazing team of Illusion, Silent Wolf and Bunnies. They were all in the same team once upon a time. That was Endurance Nuts team all that time ago. So Illusion in seventh. Spectre is eighth. Keeping them all close. But victory Rain now into the pits. So in he comes. The tyres are completely dead all around. That psycho has taken about a second and a half out of him this lap, maybe two seconds, in the McLaren. Rob on drums, currently in for third, uh, third place. Fourth place is Bailey, who's got speed on him, chasing him down the two Hondas. Fourth and fifth. What does Bailey do into the final corner? Does he stay wide? It looks like he did. He did stay wide. Speed Hunter diving up the inside of his teammate. So Bailey deciding, you know, I'm not going to hold up the very quick Speed Hunter. I will keep with him though and try and learn some lines for my teammate. Victory Rain then, fourth place for him. It's 20 seconds behind that psycho. So lost a lot of time actually in the pit stops but does he save a stop throughout the race this is the thing with the medium tire runners they might not have to stop as many times as those running softs and hards will they be able to run as fast as they can Spectmere then has an opportunity from illusion illusion making a small error going out of turn number four through turn six, downhill to turn seven. It's hard on the brakes, the sparks will fly. Illusion though. Oh, I've run it wide again on the exit. Expect me a seventh place. A low in eighth. With the Mercedes. Ninth is Gasman. Tenth is Slenderfella. Eleventh is Bull Shark. Twelfth is Ajax. 13th is Rob on drums after his pit stop, so he's in 13th place now. 14th place is Digital Blasphemy. And Bunnies on his hards is in 15th. So Matt Psycho all on his own at the front of this field. He's 16.8 seconds ahead of Speed Hunter. Again though, look at the tyre difference. Yes, Speed Hunter is flying around this circuit. But he's burning the tyres in this Honda. He is flapping so much faster than that Psycho. Victory Rain is actually under pressure from Bailey. Bailey though will be stopping at the end of this lap. So Bailey is in fourth. Victory Rain sliding ahead of him. Bailey has had a best finish of 11th place in GT. He's so got Spectmere just with Illusion. He's got past. Has Spectmere. So he's on the medium, so is Illusion. So six of the top seven drivers have won races here in GT. Mama Sykes in the chat saying she's not 100% sure if this is a real circuit. Is unfortunately, it's not a real circuit, Mama Sykes. It's a beautiful circuit. Right? In the Italian hills and mountains. No, it's a fictional circuit on the game, but it is a very, very pretty circuit. I don't think in real life they would appreciate a magic racing circuit in this beautiful part of the country however you never know with the Red Bull ring being situated as it is 
in Austria in the mountains as well. That's a bit there leading with Speed Hunter chasing him down. 57.3 and a 57.4. So that's nice, like a nose. The Speed Hunter's behind him. Mama Sykes saying thank you in the chat. No problem, Mama Sykes. If you've got a question, obviously tell me live. I can answer it as soon as I can. Obviously. To rain then. He's got Bailey in fourth. Bailey now going to pit. He's barely got any fuel left. How much has he got left? He's got 1% left. So Bailey into the pit. Silent Wolf is in fifth. Moves himself obviously up into fourth place now with Bailey in the pit. As everyone in the shuffle moves up one as Bailey will drop down. And Lowy in eighth. Slender fella. After that turn one antics, I don't know what really happened through turn one. I'm sure we'll find out post race. He is in eighth. It was something that Digital Blasphemy felt was enough to call for a red flag. It wasn't given. Gasman in ninth. He's in the Corvette. Safely inside that tom top ten. Pool Shark in 10th. He's got the best finished actually of 14th in GTE. So he's only done two races. It was a late addition to season number seven. He came in as a reserve. Did a couple of races. And he's finding his feet nicely in this championship. It's a very hard championship as Ajax. We saw speed from him in Formula X. He's down in 11th place at the moment in his Corvette. So a little bit of the dust kicking up. Rob on drums is in 12th place. Bailey after his pit stop is 13th. He's back on those soft tyres. Then we have Digital Blastery in 14th place. And then on the hard tyres is Bunny. So Bunny's doing something slightly different. Maybe seeing what the pace is like for his teammates. Speed Hunter though is dropping time to that psycho. It's 19.3 seconds. His tyres are worn out. In he comes. So in he goes. Matt Psycho still leading. He's a long way away from the pit stop as well. So the Honda is fast. But is the Honda too aggressive on its tyres? Victory Rain there in second place. The Renault. Looking a good car in Victory Rain's hands as well. We've got Spectre in fourth as well as Victory Rain there in second. Silent Wolf is in third in the Weeb Motorsports Mercedes Benz. The first time we have seen this version of the Mercedes Benz in GTE as well. We have the older version in season three. This is the 2020 version. in fourth using the Renault former winner and as well season four was his peak really in GT a win in the third place guaranteeing him third place at the end of the season in that season which we ran two cars per team it's the only season we did that it's not the term basically because it just feels wrong in GT it feels good to have three cars per team also helps the teammate situation. More heads, more plans, more ideas of how to attack a race. A lowy there in sixth place. Having an Aloe type of race now. There used to be a time Aloe used to be at the back of these fields. He's now very established as a very safe pair of hands in these cars. He will also be capable of getting the odd surprise or two. Stunderfella having one of his best GTE races despite what happened in turn one. Sweet Hunter has made a pit stop. He is eighth now after his stop. 55 seconds behind Matt Psycho. Is Matt Psycho going to have a type of race that Speed Hunter had in the last race of the season? 
in season number seven. Cool shot at the running wide. Oh no. Slight error. Does that mean Ajax can get past him? Possibly going down the straights. Oh, Paul Sharp very kindly keeping offline. So Paul Sharp, no. Paul Sharp stays eighth. The Renault has been unleashed onto GTE for the first time. Ajax just behind. Oh, has he got past Paul Sharp? He has. Paul Shark just struggles a little bit with the understeer. You can see him kicking up the dust in the background there. At the front of the field though, Matt Psycho leads it. A quarter of a tank of fuel left, so he won't be stopping for a while. As Victor Rain sets his fastest lap, not far off Matt Psycho's current pace. Victor Rain will keep himself close. We've seen it before, we've seen late runs by Victory Rain in GTE. At the end of this lap, we will be halfway through the race. And that cycle is halfway through now. So he leads from Victory Rain, currently in second place. Scion Wolf in third. The black Mercedes coming through the penultimate corner. It's a nice showing to that car as well. It's a purple shine. As Silent Wolf comes out of the corner, let's see what his lap times are like compared to those he is chasing. So he's in the 149s, uh, 159s at this point in time, so he's about second off victory rate. Who's setting... Ooh, a faster time on that Psycho. He's catching that Psycho up. Is that the case with Specmere? So Specmere had a poor lap on the last lap, 201, compared to his 159s, but this Renault... Good choice by the Punisher. Is proving very fast. Aloe is in fifth. In his Mercedes. Sixth is Slenderfella. He is getting chased though by Speed Hunter. He did a 58 4, which is nearly two seconds quicker from the car he's chasing, so he'll be catching at the end of this lap, I would have thought, he's catching hand over fist in fact. Let's go on board then with... Very fast speed, he runs very wide. Out of the final, uh, out of turn seven. It's a second behind Slenderfell. As we go through the S's, watch the bravery of the Honda driver. Flat out, lifts. A little bit of break down to fourth gear. And then into turn 12, down to third. A little bit of wobble as he takes the curb. Down the hill to turn 13. Does it stay wide? No, does it doesn't stay that wide? He's just got so much more grip though than Slenderfella. Slenderfella's tyres, they are that much older tyres of Speed Hunter, so he cannot get the power down, he can't get the lead, an angle on them through the fast corners, and it puts him vulnerable. He won't be overtaken this lap. Spetmir comes into the pits. That feels a little bit early for Spetmir. The tyres were okay. But he's in anyway. Ajax is in 8th place, he's out of fuel, has he got any fuel left? As he comes out of the final corner, will he have enough to get going? No he doesn't, he doesn't have any fuel! Oh and Paul Shark has just been a victim of no fuel Ajax, he actually bumped him into the pits! Out of the pits then comes Spetmir. He's behind Bailey. He's behind Rob on Drugs as well. Rob on Drugs gets up into 8th place now in the shuffle. Bailey is 7th in his Honda on fresh tyres now. What is his teammate doing at the back? His teammate's back on the soft tyres. Bunny's back on the softs. Let's see what's happening between Ajax and Paul Shark. Looks like Paul Shark and Ajax 
I think Paul Shark has jumped Ajax. Yes, he has. So Ajax had no fuel left at all in his car, and he's been jumped by Paul Shark. Matt Psycho in the pits there. His tyres not looking too fresh now. As we'll see Victory Rain retake the lead. Matt Psycho, though, should come out ahead of Silent Wolf now. Silent Wolf, I think, is too far back. Uh, Lowy there definitely is. So Matt Psycho will be in the pits for a bit longer. He fills up. Victory Rain takes the lead once more. He needs Renault. A bit of lag in that car. So Matt Psycho is going to be passed by Silent Wolf. Bullies has been lapped. And Matt Psycho comes out in his McLaren. So Lowy in fourth place. He's got Speed Hunter behind him. What lap times the Speed Hunter doing? He did a 57.5. Nobody's touching Speed Hunter in terms of lap times today. What's the gap between him and Matt Psycho? 28.3. 70. So it's 11 seconds between the two. Is Speed Hunter still in with a chance of this race? Victory Rain. He's on the mediums. He'll be racing to his final stop. Those behind him still have to stop again. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen this GTE season is going to be one of intrigue because Victory Rain definitely only has one stop. Matt Psycho has one stop left in him. It will be a shorter stop now. We will see. So Silent Wolf in second place. He's got the pressure of Matt Psycho behind him. Medium tyres are worn on Silent Wolf as well. There's the McLaren just in the foreground. Silent Wolf in second place. Psycho third after his stop. Matt Psycho looking very racy. Matt Psycho, the only driver I've seen doing this very tight corner into the final turn. See, Silent Wolf does not do it. Matt Psycho, though, all over the back of the Mercedes. I don't think he'll make a move into turn one, will he? Matt Psycho positioning himself on the inside. He does and slides the McLaren up into second place. A nice move there by Matt Psycho. Knowing he had the tyres, went up the inside, used the fresher grip and puts himself up into second. That is important in the context of the race. He did stuck behind Silent Wolf, definitely would have lost time. Because Speed Hunter, he's in fourth, but he's done two minute lap time on his previous lap. Bailey up into sixth place in his Honda. His best race by far in the GTE series. Showing that pace that's always been there. It's just keeping it on the circuit. Specmere in seventh place. Rob on drums is 8th. Ninth place is Illusion. Illusion will be thinking, I don't really know where this race has gone. It has been a very strange one. He's doing everything right and still in ninth. Mama Sykes in the chat saying, nice one Matthew. He got his Sunday name because he's racing in the Sunday Night League. We use Sunday names in the Sunday Night League. None of the short and matt stuff. It is Matthew. Here is Gaz. But it's his full name. Sunday night league. It's Gazman. In 10th place in that Corvette. Full time drive. First time being bid as well in GT. That was a new experience for him. He had no control over anything. He's just got to accept everything. Which is how life happens. In this house, there is Slenderfella in 11th place after his stop. Would anybody like to predict the top 10? Because I tell you what, I cannot. I cannot predict where anybody is. 
we've got Paul Shark in 13th place. We had him up in 6th place at one point. Digital Blasphemy, he's had an adventurous race, as has Bunnies. Bunnies had a lap where he was about 3 minutes down. He had an awful lap during that period where the Hondas just all decided that they would fall off the circuit. But at the front of this field is Victory Man. That car is very heavy. He is 16 seconds ahead of Matt Psycho. 59.2 compared to a 58.3. So Matt Psycho again, that second difference between those tyres is definitely there. Which, if you're Victory Rain, and if you're the Punisher, the team boss of Green and Flag Racing, you're thinking, we've got a chance here this season. We've got a quick car. Matt Psycho is a second off our pace. Silent Wolf, though, his tyres are looking worn out, but... Is he trying to get to the end of this lap, or is he going to be crazy and do another lap? I think he'll be crazy and do another lap. That's the sort of thing we've seen from him this race. Speed Hunter, another two minute lap time. So the lap times have gone from Speed Hunter. I don't think he's got the pace to win this today. Aloe in fifth. He's not far away. He's got another stop to do though. It will be his last one. And Speed Hunt has got the hard tyres to go on to. So it's not all over for Aloe for another fourth. Spectre in sixth. He's done his last stop of the race. He's going to put himself in a good position for fourth place, possibly at the end of this. Oh, Bailey's had a little bit of an off. He's got damage on the front of his car. He's down to seventh place. Rob on drums is in eighth. He's got the pressure though of Illusion coming out turn 13. Illusion has the inside line. Up the hill goes the Corvette against the Mercedes. They are side by side. Going to turn 14. The inside Illusion's already got the move done. Will he run wide though? Runs a little bit but not too much. He's okay. Through 15. Down into 16. safely into the top eight goes the Corvette. This is going to be a season where if you're using tyres that are not the fastest, it's all about dim damage and limitation. Gasman 10th in his Corvette, moving up into ninth now as a Lowy. Although a Lowy is leaving the pits and is ahead of Gasman. I thought Gasman would jump him, but no, a Lowy is ahead. He did not change tyres. That is very brave from Aloe. Don't know if that was the correct choice. Whether he's decided, no, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try and risk. Sometimes, though, it's better to have the fresher tyres. On board with Gasman. He's got old mediums as well, but he's got less fuel. And that means he can have the run going down into the hairpin. Turn number seven, Aloe on the inside in the Mercedes, Gasman in the Corvette, still behind, going up the hill. As Aloe still ninth, Gasman tucked up in his slipstream. Aloe has done his stop, he did not change his tires. It's a brave move. He's gone for short-term gain, but will it be long-term pain? Gasman 10th. Keeping the pressure on Aloe in the wall slightly. As we see at the front, Silent Wolf and Speed Hunter in the pits together, I think. As we look at the battle between Silent Wolf's teammate and the... Oh, Gasman has got past Aloe. Gasman past Aloe. I wonder if Aloe will be thinking, oh no, those tyres maybe should have been kept for new ones. He's looking at the inside, but not quite. As we see in the pits... So it was two seconds the gap between Speed Hunter and Silent Wolf. Spectre then goes up into third. Matt Psycho then leads the race. 27.4 seconds ahead of Victory Rain. Now the Victory Rain has done his stop. So Matt Psycho back in that lead. And definitely happy. Good. I thought we'd got the helmets back. 
So, victory rain in second. His teammate in third, Spekmir, is having a very, very nice race. Fourth place is Illusion. He's just done two 201s, two, oh, though, so his pace slightly going in that Corvette. Silent Wolf in fifth. Back on the medium tyres. And hard tyres now for Speed Hunter. Speed Hunter is on the hards. In the Honda, Rob on drums is seventh. He's about to stop though. It's at the front of the field. We see Matt Psycho. Ten laps to go, including the one that they are on. Matt Psycho leads by 28.3 seconds. He does have to make another stop, and that will be for hard tyres. Victory Rain is close enough to keep that pressure on. We've seen it before. Victory Rain always is in contention towards the end of races. Spekmir is in third in his Renault. He has another stop to go. So does Illusion. Silent Wolf does not. So Silent Wolf looks like he is net third on circuit. Speed Hunter, after his eventful race, is in sixth, could be fourth. Rob on drums will be stopping at the end of this lap. His fuel is very low indeed. Gasman also stopping this lap. A lowy. Oh, he's right front tyre. He's got another 10 laps to do on that. I wonder if a lowy will pit. He does. A lowy's decided, you know what, I'm pitting. I'm pitting. I'm saving. I wonder what happened in the pits. Maybe he said, do not change. Ajax in 11th, it now becomes 8th, with the stops happening. Pool Shark in 12th, does he stop? No, he will keep going. He will move up the field. He's got Bailey behind him. Bailey will be wondering what on earth happened in this race. He's on those hard tyres. 13th place. Bailey was in 7th at one point in this race. What's happened there with Bailey? Great pace from him and once more. Definitely be encouraged in that Honda. 29.6 seconds though is the gap between the two race leaders. That Saigo does look like he's got enough in the bag, possibly, with victory reign. But it will be close. The gap between the two of them will be around 10 seconds, maybe. I don't know. I'm not very good. Spectre in third. He'll be pitting maybe the end of this lap or the next lap. Possibly. He's just running medium tyres. Oh, Silent Wolf struggling with his Mercedes. He's got Illusion, though, behind him. I think Silent Wolf has just overtaken him. He's got fresher tyres, Silent Wolf, his right front, not happy, his illusion. He'll be pitting, though, at the end of this lap. In comes the Corvette. And Speed Hunter will overtake him. He's on hard tyres, into 2 minutes 04. Slender Fella is on the soft tyres. Softs once, although I wonder if he's going late on the hard change. We've seen that before yeah, in the Sunday Night League. Two rain in second. That gap 59 1, again about the second, the second of the tenth. Quite close. 
bunnies. And it's just being lapped by Max Psycho. Just checking the map and see. Speed Hunter, again. Speed Hunter's got Digital Blasphemy behind it. Is Digital Blasphemy on the soft tyres? Yes, he is. So Digital Blasphemy is lapping quicker. This is the awkward situation sometimes. If you're lapping on softer tyres, you're stuck behind a car in front. You don't really know what to do. It's behind you can see Slenderfell. I guess Slenderfell will be hoping that the last me put some pressure on Speed Hunter. Speckmere in the stops for his last time. Jacks comes in as well. There goes the green flag racing Renault. Sixth place. Yes, for Specmere. Looking a strong result for the green flag team. Joker Club looks strong as well. Fifth place for Slenderfella. place in the other Joker Club he's got slow moving Corvette on the inside that will be Ajax I believe yes it is Ajax go there let's have a look and see what is happening with fourth place he's still got Digital Blasphemy behind him there's not much Digital Blasphemy can do let's have a look though Here, 11th, 12th. Cars lapping as well. So it's Bailey is getting the blue flags. Matsuko just behind him then. And then Ajax just there. So Matsuko coming through to lap Bailey. Matsuko will be stopping though in the next few laps. He'll be running on the hards to finish the race. He's got a 30 second lead over Victory Rain. I think it will be enough, although the fuel rate is slow here in GTE. Victory Rain will be close, it'll be within 10 seconds, I would have thought, by the finish. Silent Wolf in third, it's 30 seconds off Victory Rain though, that is quite a way. Both these drivers on medium tyres as well. But it's about points in the end. Speed Hunter in fourth. Some good times on those hard tyres. Slenderfell not catching him on those softs. Specmere has done his out there. So we've got 159s currently. For drivers, they all seem to be around that area actually. We're lapping very consistently with each other at the end of this race. Well, drums in ninth place. Start where he got up to eighth for his first lap. Gasman in tenth place. Top ten finishes in GTE are incredibly hard to come by. Ajax has got the pressure now with Bailey. What can the Canadian do? Bailey running wide, he's on hard tyres. Is he going to be a sitting duck? For Ajax, who's on the mediums, they go down the hill to turn number seven inside line for Bailey. Ajax trying to cut on the exit. Yes, he does. He gets a nice exit, in fact, up the hill. And there's not much Bailey can do about that. Down to 12th now. The driver that we saw as high as fourth place early on in this race. Paul Chuck in 13th place. Everyone's been high up in this race at some point. Although they just ask me to all disagree with that, him having to be on the first corner and has basically just been trying to do that. Bunny's on the hard tyres, what's for? So Bunny's doing some test driving, I think. Matt Psycho then will be pitting at the end of this lap. 
he will do the last six laps on the hard tyre. What will the gap be between him and Victory Rain? Victory Rain is in the two minute lap times. Oh, this could be quite close, Miller Sykes. This could be quite close. As Man Psycho comes round the penultimate corner. The right hander into the pit he goes. A 31 second lead over Victory Rain. Let's just see what is happening behind our cars fighting they're very close together from what I can see but I don't know who they are oh is it no it's that speed hunter and no, it's, ba uh, it's Bailey one of his teammates that may be Bunnies behind him. Yes, it is Bunnies. There's a red banner on that car. So, cars that are close actually are lapping cars. Matt Psycho is out the pits. The gap is 2.6 seconds. We have a race on once more in GTE between two cars. Hard tyres for Matt Psycho, mediums for Victory Rain. Victory Rain is in a rhythm with his car, he's been on those mediums all race long. Matt Psycho has been on softs all race, and now he's got to get used to those hards. They are not going to have the grip he's been used to, so it's all about what he can do. Slender Fella coming into the pits for his hard to pit stop as well. And Matt Psycho, well, Mama Sykes in the chat saying, come on Matt, is it all going to go in this last five laps this is what happens in GTE you think you know what the race is going to do and then something weird happens slander fella out of the pit he's comfortably in seventh place so slender fella seventh place for him he's slotted into the middle Matt Psycho though 1.6 seconds ahead of victory rain victory rain is catching let's go on board with him the Renault driver Using all his knowledge. It's not the first time that we've seen Victory Rain have a different strategy and run towards another driver at the end. It's quite hard to watch though because he is a bit jerky. That psycho though, those hard tyres through the S's at the end of the lap are very slow. He's got to hope he can hold on to this and keep Victory Rain behind him long enough. Silent Wolf is third. He's got a comfortable gap between him and Speed Sons of fourth. Fifth is Specmere. He's just three seconds ahead of Aloe. Aloe is lapping quicker. We could have a battle for fifth and sixth. What about seventh place? Not quite close enough, four seconds down for Slenderfella. Illusion though is catching up, Slenderfella. Back at the front, Matt Psycho is a second ahead of Victory Rain now. We have got the two former champions at the front of this field and Matt Psycho is losing hand over fist time. Has Victory Rain perfectly timed this? With his medium medium run Will it be a debut win for this Renault as well? We've not seen this car in GTE before. And it's looking like it could be the case. That Psycho is losing time. Those hard tyres just don't have the pace of those mediums. That Psycho though has got to hope that with three and a half laps to go, Victory Reigns tyres will not be able to keep their grip. Matt Psycho then leading here in the McLaren. He's got the Renault all over the back of him though. Matt Psycho holds it tight into the final corners. It's him and Victory Rain very closely matched. 
Pasaka floors it out of the final corner, tries to get the drive, but the medium tyres of the Renault mean it has an advantage in all the acceleration zones. Also through the corners, Victory Rain will be able to hold more speed. It's all about positioning then for Matt Psycho. Can he defend this? He's got three laps to go. So it's four laps to go, including this one. Matt Psycho though. Keeping the position. Victory Rain, his best chance will be turn seven. Either on the entry or the exit. He looks very quick though. Will he get an opportunity on the exit of turn seven? Victory Rain in second. That gap is so small between the two. Three tenths of a second as they climb up the hill. There's no overtaking opportunities here at the left, right, right, left, right. Through this sequence of corners, using all the curve, Matt Psycho defends well. The position is where you'd expect it. There's a slide, but Victory Rain is okay. Down into turn 13. Matt Psycho still holds it. Will he get the drive out the corner? This could be Victory Rain's chance. Into turn 14. Matt Psycho feels the need to defend. Up the inside. What does Victory Rain do? Victory Rain goes round the outside of him. Victory Rain just drove round the outside using the extra grip of those mediums. Matt Psycho had no answer to Victory Rain. Mama Sykes in the chat saying this is racing. This is. You have an hour and five minute race and it's coming down to the last couple of laps. So Victory Rain takes the lead from Matt Psycho. Those medium tyres proving to be the difference between the two. So I go two minute one point four for him, a two minute point three for Victory Rain. Victory Rain though, two laps to the finish. Silent Wolf in third. His tyres looking very worn. Fourth place is Speed Hunter. He's 34.8 seconds behind the leader. I wonder what would have happened as you have a flag up ahead for Spectre. Someone has gone off ahead of him. That would be digital blasphemy in the McLaren. A Lowy. Lowy looks closer than two, three seconds. A Lowy is fighting hard. A Lowy will be thinking, why did I change? not change those tyres? Matt Psycho has got past Victory Rain. Matt Psycho is back past. Oh, he's sliding all over the place. Wow. Matt Psycho is back ahead of Victory Rain. Victory Rain must have made a mistake. These two are fighting towards the end. Matt Psycho is back ahead. Going down to turn 13. This is where Victory Rain made the move last lap. Look at the tyres of Victory Rain, though. His tyres are done. It's at this point Matt Psycho's hard ties might be better than the mediums of Victory Rain. Going into the corner, the Victory Rain overtook Matt Psycho last time out. It's not happening this time. These two will go into our last lap then to decide this race. And it's between Matt Psycho and Victory Rain. Three years on since SNL started. We've got Matt Psycho fighting for the victory. And he's against Victory Rain. Victory Rain in second place. The gap is a tenth between these two drivers. There's a touch between the two. Victory Rain runs wide. Oh no. What has happened? Matt Psycho went off. Victory Rain was off. This is not how they would have wanted it to finish both drivers what happened there victory rain is driving to the end was the contact matt psycho in second place and victory rain he's leading by five seconds now
Victory Rain is in first, going through the S's. The season four champion. Will he start season number eight with a win? That's Psycho. He was leading into the final lap. Then there was a touch going into turn one. And it seems Victory Rain, well, he's losing a lot of time to Matt Psycho at the end of this race. Is Victory Rain going to have enough fuel to finish the race? He's very low on fuel. He comes around the final two corners. And here at Lego Majaro, it is going to be a win for Victory Rain in the Renault. A brand new car wins in GTE. Matt Psycho is in second place. After that fight to the end, Sion Wolf is going to take third place on his full time return in the Mercedes of Chris Boo's Weeb Motorsport team. He's going to finish ahead of his fellow countryman from Mauritius. Third place for him. Speed Hunter in fourth. It's going to be fifth place. Green Flag Racing Renault have had a very good opening round with two cars in the top five. Specmere in fifth place in that Renault. That's like I was saying, a great race. Victory Rain saying, phew, that was intense. And Lowy is in sixth. Great drive for him. Seventh place is Illusion. So saying great race to victory. Slenderfella is eighth. Ninth place is going to be Gasman. He's going to cross the line. Tenth place will be Rob on drums. Eleventh is Ajax. Fourteenth was Digital Blasphemy. Twelfth place is going to be Pool Shark in the Renault. And thirteenth place is going to be Bailey in his Honda. Bunnies will finish just ahead of him in his what could have been maybe for Honda. What could have been for Bailey? Great drive from Bailey. He doesn't deserve that 13th place. He drove much better than that. But my word, what a race between these two. Victory Rain wins round number one in the most dramatic of circumstances, taking victory on the final lap. Where have I heard that one before? Victory Rain wins for the Punisher and Green Flag Racing. Let's have a look at those results then. It was Victory Rain in the Renault. What a race from him. Second place, Matt Psycho. He looked like he'd done everything he needed to do. He overtook Victory Reigns once more. But second place for the McLaren driver in the Joker Racing Club McLaren. In third place is Silent Wolf in the Weeb Motorsport Mercedes. On his full return, the defending champion, pole position, but fourth place in the Shell Honda racing car. In fifth place, Specmere in the Renault. Sixth place was Aloe in the Mercedes, closely followed. He could have had fifth if he had changed his tyres. Seventh place, Illusion, all things considered. I think Illusion will be happy with that, considering the race he had. Eighth place is Slenderfella in his McLaren. Again, what could have been for him? without that first corner incident. Ninth place was Gasman in the Corvette. Tenth was Rob on drums in the Mercedes. Eleventh on his debut was Ajax in the Corvette. Twelfth, his best finish in GTE is Pool Shark. Thirteenth is Bailey in his Honda. And fourteenth is Digital Blasphemy in the McLaren. And Bunnies was fifteenth in his Honda after some eventful racing. But it is all Victory Reign spoils. Congratulations to him. 
what a way to start season eight of GTE as well. I'm sure that deserves a like. I'm sure that dis deserves a share. We're here next week for round number two at Road Atlanta in America. Wow. Six rounds this season. All of them count. How important might that mistake those moves into turn one be? Fantastic. Thank you, everyone that's taken part. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe. And remember, we will be here next week for more SNL.